It's time for the news. Uh, in a major win for his domestic agenda, President Biden signed his landmark $1.2 trillion infrastructure package into law today. Here he is at the official signing ceremony this afternoon. Look at that. Maybe they can use some of that $1.2 trillion to buy the president a larger signing desk. <laughs> I can do that. The bill will tackle nearly every facet of American infrastructure, including public transport, roads, bridges, ports, trains, 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 power grids, <laughs> trains, as well as water and sewage systems and trains. <laughs> More than a trillion dollars towards infrastructure like roads and bridges. Now, if only people could afford the gasoline to drive on those very <laughs> things. In other news, Trump's former top advisor, Steve Bannon, turned himself into the FBI for arraignment this morning. Bannon was indicted Friday on two charges of criminal contempt after he refused to show up for a deposition ordered by the House January 6th committee. When he turned himself in, the FBI were like, Ah, oh, really? Do we have to... We have to take him? Do it. <laughs> Here's Bannon this morning. Look at that. Look at the FBI agent's face. <laughs> that is a face that says, Ah, oh, I know we're outside. I definitely should have worn a mask for this one. <laughs> Bannon, Bannon, though, already has a plan. If he does get sent to prison, his first day there, he's just going to go up to the biggest, meanest, Worst guy in the entire yard and help him get elected president in 2024. <laughs> Did everybody hear about this? Over the weekend, hackers compromised the FBI email system and sent out more than 100,000 fake email messages. Hang on, wait. Does that mean there aren't actually hot single FBI agents in my area looking to meet up? <laughs> I feel bad for everybody who fell for this, I do, but honestly, it's hard to feel anything but excitement because of this new extended car warranty I bought from the FBI <laughs> this weekend. 27 years. <laughs> it's not just the FBI. According to new research, Americans are hit with nearly 30 scams per month from robocalls to spam emails. I get more scam calls to my phone than regular phone calls. <laughs> I do, at this point, I'd prefer it if my phone notified me that a call was friend-likely. <laughs> just to save time. Do you get that? Do you just get scam yep. calls all the time? Yeah, and text messages. From, like, Redondo Beach. Yeah. Yes. yes. Always, it's always <laughs> Redondo Beach. <laughs> do you know what I feel bad for in this? And I genuinely mean this. People out there who are actually trying to contact you with a surefire way to increase your penis size. <laughs> like, imagine that. Imagine you've, you've cracked it. You've actually done it. You've... That is a nightmare for these guys. If you have genuinely got pills which, which increase penis size by an inch, how do you get the word out there? <laughs> you... I mean, there's no way. There is no way for that company to prosper. You... You can't go door to door either because you're a huge penis. You exactly. Know? <laughs> I really don't feel like with those guys are getting our sympathy enough. Well, they could advertise on the show in Carmel's Corner. Oh. What about that? that took a slide, didn't it? <laughs> that took a slide. We thought it was a great idea. And then what happened? What? Nick shut us down. Did you? Is that you, Bernstein? Oh. I, I don't know, actually. It just sort of. Uh fell to the wayside, I feel like. I'm not sure I was the one who actually shut this completely down. Did it fall to the wayside or was it ushered to the wayside? <laughs> I might have pushed it to the wayside yeah, a little bit. That's yeah. what I think happened. Because I know the next day we had, like, a raft of new businesses, like, we'll advertise on Carmel's Corner. Yeah, and then Nick got a big fish on the hook and that shut all the small businesses down and then the big business went away. Oh. What was the big business? Oh. That I cannot discuss on the air. <laughs> it, I hope. International House of Pancakes. It was IHOP. That's correct. Was it IHOP? Oh, yeah. Is that real? Yes. <laughs> so, hang on. The, hang on. The International House of pa Pancakes were interested in sponsoring Carmel's Corner. Yes, they were. <laughs> so, we... So, we... And I say we, I mean you...
just threw all the emails from small businesses that need help. <laughs> but like, let's go and chase the IHOP money. And then IHOP went, actually, no, we're good. We don't want to do it. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Rob is on an absolute tear here. I love it. I love IHOP. I will happily throw IHOP on the front of the... All International House of Pancakes, domestic House of Pancakes, however they want to do it. I'm happy. I've never been. You've never been to I've IHOP? Never been. Never been. I can't stress this enough. I didn't grow up here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. In other news... United Airlines resumed selling hard liquor on flights starting today. They'd stopped selling hard liquor during the pandemic, but now it's back. Meanwhile, Spirit Airlines will continue to offer beer, wine, and the option to huff some paint thinner. <laughs> Do you think you'll get an email about that, Rob? 100%. When did you... Tell us, tell everybody what you told us today, which I didn't know about. I got a really, really angry email from the head of communications at Spirit Airlines after our last Spirit Airlines joke. <laughs> I'm going to get a fiery one. Yeah, Ian came up with an amazing reply that you should send back, which was, go on. You should tell them that if they want to reply, it's a $45 upcharge. <laughs> So good. And finally, we wanted to show you this. A luxury goods company has made a $9,000 version of the iPhone 13 Pro Max called the Tirano phone. Here it is here. Look at that. It features a 3D image of a dinosaur head, an eye made out of pure amber, and a fragment of a real 80-million-year-old T-Rex tooth. Yeah. There's only seven available. I know, sorry, I've just had six. There's only six. There's only six available. Nicolas Cage just heard about this. <laughs> Imagine that journey. Imagine that. First, a fossilized tooth of a, of a T Rex survives the elements for 80 million years, and then it's painstakingly excavated by scientists, only then to be glued to a phone owned by a dickhead who drops it in a toilet. <laughs> That's the news. We'll be right back, everybody. Just like they said, we're going to be back. Just like, you know, like really soon. So just...